Good morning, Grace Seven. Good to see you here. Today we're going to work on project pi. Well, you must be wondering: Are we going to make pi, or are we going to watch the movie in *The Life of Pi*? Well, the pi and the movie can wait for another time. But today we are actually going to explore the mathematical constant called pi. Now, before we continue, let's uh, revise what we know about the circle. So here. We know the outer part of the circle is called the circumference, and the line segment which passes through the center of the circle is called the diameter. This is important for our exploration today. Okay, so the circumference is the outer part of the circle, and the line segment passing through the center is our diameter. For this project, you'll need few things. So go ahead and gather them out from your home. Few circles, few circular objects, basically, you know, anything that you have in the house. Um, string, I'm sure you all must be having string. Rulers or measuring tape, or even if you have a long ruler. And of course, one marker and something for you to write on. Your copybook and a pencil or a pen will do. Now to start with, take, take the string and perhaps maybe you could tape it on one side and take the string along the circumference of whatever the object you're going to choose. See to it that you are basically passing through the center, somewhere in the center and not going zigzag, okay? So you don't want to pass somewhere like this, just right in the middle somewhere. And once you come here, what you can do is you can make a mark with a pen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, row, completely one full circle, hold it, hold it here, Okay, and maybe I'm going to mark a circle, a mark, mark where I complete one circle. Now, once I have made the marking, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this length of the string against a ruler. So let's measure and see uh, what is the length of the string, and which will actually give us the circumference of the tidy bin that I use to measure. Now, when I measure it, guys, it is around uh, 42 point, you will not be able to see it clearly, but when I measure it against the ruler, it is 42.7. So make a note of the circumference in your copybooks, whatever the measurement is, make sure that you're using the correct units, it's centimeters. So just make a note of it, okay? And then I'll show you what you do in the next step. For the next step, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to measure the diameter of the circular object that you're using it. Now make sure that you have you're using the scale somewhere in the center. Of course, if you're going to measure it somewhere here, that will not be that will not give you the correct reading, right? So you want to measure the diameter, which is nothing but the line segment passing through the center. So once you measure the diameter of your circular object, okay, and again make a note of what the length of the diameter is in your copybook. And then when I look at the diameter, I see the diameter is 13.5. So I'm going to make a note of the diameter 13.5 in my copy books. Now, once you have your circumference and diameter written, what you need to do is find the ratio of circumference to diameter. So divide circumference by the diameter, okay, and find out what the answer is. You can round up your answer to the nearest two decimal places, okay? Now you want to repeat this experiment because this is a project, guys, and you want to explore something, you want to find out or discover something. So repeat this with different circular objects, whatever you you, you find them in your house, okay? And uh, make sure to find the circumference and the diameter in the cases. And all you need to do is divide the circumference by the diameter to get the ratio. Then once you're done with at least about three, okay, you can do more, the more the better. You try to find out the relationship between the circumference and the diameter, okay? And then use the flip, flip grid grid to, ex, to explain the, basically your reflection about your project, what you found, what you discovered, all right? So we're looking forward to hear and to watch your videos about your reflection on the fire project. Maybe next time we can make some pies as well. Thank you.